Welcome to our next lesson. I'm your facilitator, Prof. Alex. Today's lesson, we are looking at measurement. What is measurement? It's very simple. Let's get to it. Measurement is getting to know the unknown qualities or the unknown quantities from the known quantity. So, when we have an unknown quantity, we can get to know the measurement when we compare it to a known quantity. For instance, when you are asked to fetch sand, you might not know the quantity when you fetch it with your, your hands, yes. You might not know the quantity of sand you have in your hands when it is just your hand. But when I give you a bowl, a bowl and then you fetch the sand, because we know the quantity that can fill the bowl, we will be able to know the quantity of sand in the bowl. Our parents that sell us in the market are able to do this when they have their measuring cylinder. They have a small measuring container. They use that one to measure rice, beans, and so on. Your mother will tell you it is called the Olunka. Ask your mom, she will explain it to you. With that known quantity, we can get to know an unknown quantity. So when he takes the margarine tin, he will fetch some quantity of rice and then say this is one tin. We will fetch two and say this is two tins. This is these are processes and ways by which we get to know from an unknown quantity. Measurement. Knowing the unknown from the known. Alright. Now, under measurement, we have physical quantity and a physical quantity is a quantity that can be measured. A physical quantity is a quantity that can be measured. Under physical quantity, we have two types of quantities. We have the fundamental quantity and then the derived quantity. The fundamental quantity and the derived quantity. A fundamental quantity is a quantity that is independent on other quantities and from which other quantities are formed or derived. I say it again, a fundamental quantity is a quantity that is independent on other quantities and from which other quantities are formed or derived. Right. There are seven fundamental quantities. Yes, there are seven fundamental quantities. And it is very important that you know the seven fundamental quantities. I'll try and mention some of them and then the rest we will do it in our textbook. The seven fundamental quantities are time, length, mass, temperature, amount of substance. We have also luminous intensity. These are some of the fundamental quantities. Yes, it's fundamental quantity because it is independent on other quantities and from which other quantities are formed. Right. Then we have derived quantities. A derived quantity is a quantity that is formed from the combination of two or more fundamental quantities. Yes, they are formed from the combination of two or more fundamental quantities. So for us to get length, we need, uh, for us to get an area, we need two of the length, right? So length times length, which is equal to area, is a derived quantity. So area is a derived quantity obtained from two fundamental quantities, which is length and another length. This is how derived quantities are formed. I want you to think and then come out with your own derived quantities. You should be able to write about five of them. I will want to leave you here saying that a fundamental quantity is independent on other quantities, but derived quantities are formed from the combination of two or more. Assignment for today, 
list all the fundamental quantities. Yes, I told you they are seven. Um, list five derived quantities. That is also very easy. I'll see you in the next lesson. Enjoy yourself. It's been your facilitator for RSK.